Hey everybody, in today's tutorial I will show you how to use TypeScript with Node.js and Express. The main purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use these technologies together. The purpose of this video is not to talk about the benefits of using TypeScript or whether you should use it or not. This just shows you how to use them together, as I already said. Before going further, you should have basic knowledge in TypeScript, Node.js and Express. Also, you should have a Node version from 12 upwards, including Node version 12. Therefore, let's jump straight in. The first step for our application is to create a directory for the project and initialize it. We create an empty directory by running mkdir typescript node.js the next step is to open the directory in our favorite code editor in my case it's vs code with vs code you can open the application directly from the terminal you run code and the name of the project and it opens your project in vs code for the remainder of the tutorial i'm going to use the terminal from vs code you can open the terminal from vs code with command j the first step we have to do now is to initialize our node.js project we can do so by running npm init y what's the y flag you might ask the y flag creates a package.json with the default values that means we don't have to enter the name of the project the description the starting point and so on you can see the package.json file right here you can see it was automatically filled for us if you want to add all this information manually just remove the y flag now the next step is to install the express package in our application we do so by running npm install express once we have express installed it's time to install the typescript packages and i say packages because there are multiple packages we have to install there isn't just one package let's start with npm install typescript and then we have a typescript package for node.js which is ts node and then we have specific types for node.js and for express by default typescript doesn't know about the types from express or node so we have to install them manually we can do so by typing add types node add types express and we save them as developer dependencies we do so because our application doesn't need typescript to run everything we write in typescript gets compiled to vanilla javascript which will be used to run the application therefore when you run your application it doesn't use the typescript code to say so it uses the compiled vanilla javascript code therefore typescript is here to help us developers write better code now if we open our package.json file we should see our packages you can see we have express as a dependency and then we have all these typescript dependencies as dev dependencies now we have the typescript and express installed but we are still not ready to use it first of all we have to configure typescript for our application we can do so by creating a ts config.json file but we don't have to create it manually because we have a command for that thankfully so let's run npx tsc init voila we have a new file with quite a few options from here most of them are commented but there are some options we have to enable and configure carefully the first one is the target option which specifies the ECMAScript version we can use in our project the available options for the target are ES5, ES6, EX7 secondly the next option is the module option the module option is used to specify which module manager to use in the compiled javascript code you can choose between multiple module managers such as common.js es5 non and so on however the most common module manager and the default one is common.js the next options are 
out deer and root deer. These are not enabled by default, but we have to enable them. So let's do that. Out deer specifies the directory where our compiled JavaScript code will live. At the moment, it's in the root, but we change that to build. Secondly, the root deer is where our TypeScript files live. In this case, we leave it as a root. Then the next one is strict, which is enabled by default and it ensures strict type checking. Lastly, we have the ES module interop, which is enabled by default and it enables the interoperability between common JS and ES modules. And how does it do it? It does it by creating namespace objects for all imports. For an in-depth information about all these options, I recommend checking the TypeScript tsconfig reference. It explains in depth everything about these options and how to use them. But for the purpose of this tutorial, these configurations are enough. The next step is to create the express server. So let's create server.ts, which is the extension for TypeScript files. And let's import express from express let's create a constant app which is of type express application and call express so far so good now we have to create an endpoint which we can use to access our application in a browser or wherever let's do that by running app.get slash request express request and then res which is of type express response we use an arrow function and we display let's say well done because you just set up your application the last step is to listen to a port so we can access our application so let's run app dot listen 3000 and then we use another arrow function to display a message to the console which can be ap application listening on port 3000 and we are done we have a typescript server let's just save our files first of all to make sure they work however we cannot run our server let's try to do it and see what happens node server ts you can see we get a syntax error so what we have to do is to compile our typescript code to vanilla javascript which we can do as follows npx tsc project the root directory now you see that it generated a folder build which has another file inside called server.js let's open this file and see what it has inside you can see this is our compiled javascript code which is vanilla javascript it's a lot of code and it's not super nice to read it but this is the code that it's used by the app to run so let's try to run our app now node build server and you can see the application is listening on port 3000 let's go in google chrome and try to run this and you can see the message well done so our application works now every time you make a change to your application you have to run this command but it's a bit tedious to write the same command every time so we can create a script in package.json we can do so by going to the scripts and write build and then we have to add the command which is tsc project root we save it and let's close our application and make a change so we see if it worked we changed package.json now let's run npm run build and let's see if it worked node build server and we go again to google chrome and try to open the application localhost 3000 and tada it works well done for creating your first application with typescript node.js and express 
This is just the tip of the iceberg and from now onwards you can build any application you want using these three technologies which are in high demand. Well done and if you build something let me know in the comments. Thank you!